let's make a simple exercise in solidworks visual professional here we will import one simple project and let's see simple features so here you will see recent projects sample project recent solidworks document new projects or open projects we are going for new project now before going to explain anything let's import one project so open file and import now here choose solidworks assembly so that we will find out our drawing open now this is the assembly settings you will see here decals if any scenes environment background light if you check this box this all comes with assembly so say okay now look at center this is called render viewport all the rendering or final or output you will see in this screen now at top you will see this is main toolbar you can control or do the rendering with the help of these tools and at bottom you will see here this is called heads up display provide quick access to information now your right side you will see this is palettes all the settings for the project you can do it from here okay before going to start from here let's apply some material to this then we will uh, do something for this now here okay let's uh, go, here you will see file library at the end if you go to file library here we have local and cloud cloud have more number of storage or uh, more number of uh, material so let's go to cloud glass double click on glass and here keep appearance for background you can choose plates and uh, camera options also here environment also here and there are many options so we are in appearance now let's apply now this is blue let's apply to drag and drop just simply this is so simple now let's click with left mouse and drag this material let's say to this part now let's uh, check pink glass drag this to this part similarly there is a red drag to okay let's say this one now there is some green also green glass okay light or dark blue something light blue drag to this and at the bottom you will see yellow glass now we already applied all the materials now i go back with the help of this to parent library now let's come to model now if we drop down and if you check here you will see all the model here now you can uh, use to change the visibility and model data from here let's say this one now here if we uncheck this visibility see one model is disappeared visible if it say disable it will disappear permanently even you can apply faded and it will fade even though here one option called opacity let's say 50% it's see let's keep 100% now you can do some more thing also now look now with the help of camera tools zoom just okay pan drag somewhere here now in transformation let's say we selected one if you want to rotate this click this one and see this is rotated press control z even you can change the scale also see the scale is going to change but let's this one one enter that's it now many more things you can even texture also we, you can control from here in advanced physics you can do it many things from here 
now let's come to appearance appearance show all the appearance added to the model here let's say pink now you can change the color density let's say 10 to see the color density going to change roughness 0.2 to something different you can add do it from your side 0.2 20 even though color you can change it from here see the color is going to change cancel add again add it original or let's say the color full even if you know the rgb number you can simply put this rgb color cmyk color so from here you can edit the color related issues texture also you can add any specific kind of texture mapping also you can do it here now next is here scenes in scenes uh, store uh, scene, scene tab is store all the lighting elements in the project you can control all the lightings so let's say if this is by default this selected if you drag and drop and you will see the lighting going to change but this one is suitable for us so drag this one okay this looks better now let's check camera in camera what we can do this is aspect ratio we will keep as it is perspective let's change this perspective okay this look now let's come here you will see here render selection now first one if you see preview this is a very quick render you will get instant real time view the second one is uh, this is fast model modes enable visualizing accurate ray tracing for fastest rendering quality and the third one is accurate most precise rendering enable if you want to rotate this assembly just simply activate this play and see this is going to rotate again pause exit and see we rotate in a way now this is also if you select model you can select all together all parts together if you select only part you can select one by one each and every part if you se select uh, this one group so with the help of control key you can select more than one part now here th this is the camera tool you can rotate you can activate pan tool just move your project now this is zoom S just press left mouse and just move your mouse and see this is going to zoom in zoom out now this is the view let's say if you want to see top view bottom view right side left side isometric okay this is the view what let me choose zoom tool fine now let's go to output tool now first assign the name bottle opening now next assign the location for this then file png format jpg we are going for png i want to do rendering now resolution from here you can adjust 1920 1080 We need quality render. Now passes, let's keep 3000. Now this one, 1920. We want a higher size. Start render. 
now it will take time according to your computer graphics card if your computer graphics card is higher it will take less time if lower it will take more time if you run this study it, this project in cpu it will take too much time so it's better to run on gpu it will take less time on gpu so let's see how long it will take to render if you see you can see here rendering time and uh, passes perform for ray tracing render device gpu enable so it will take 10 minutes so we will just fast forward this see this is the our final result if you keep more number of passes for ray tracing it will show you more accurate result so don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching